hello, welcome to Blender Time. Thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model a generic bottle cap. For reference image, just browse for soda bottle cap. I will guide and show you the process step by step. Let's begin. Select cube. Press X. Delete. Press 7 for top view. Shift A. Mesh. Circle. At bottom left. Click on tab. Click on vertices. Key in 20. Enter. Click tab to close the dialog box. Tab into edit mode. Make sure all vertices are selected. Press 1 for front view. Press E for extrude. Press Z as in zebra. Press and hold control. Drag until about here. Left click. Holding control when dragging lets you move in increment. Press 7 for top view. Press S. Press and hold control. Drag until about here. Left click. Press E. Press S. Drag until about here. Left click. I rotate the view a bit. Hold Alt. Left click on this edge to select this loop. Press Ctrl B. Drag. Scroll the middle mouse button until we have four loops like this. Left click. At top left. Click on face select icon. Left click on the screen to deselect all. Rotate the view like this. Select this face. Press I for inset. Drag to about here. Left click. At bottom of the screen. Click on tab. Uncheck boundary. Click on tab to close dialog box. Press I again. Drag to about here. Left click. At top of the screen, click on mesh. Transform. Choose shrink fatten. Drag to move the face in until about here. Left click. Press C for circle select. Select these faces. Make sure to select the small faces at the sides as well. Right click to exit circle select. Press Ctrl I to select inverse. Press X. Choose faces. This is what we have so far. Let's continue. Press 7 for top view. Tab into object mode. Press Shift A. Go down to empty. Click on arrows. Select the cap object. Click on modifier icon. Add modifier. Array. Click on count. Key in 20. Enter. This is the number of sides of the circle we added in earlier. Now uncheck relative offset. Uncheck constant offset. Check object offset. Click merge. Check first last. Click on this tab. Choose empty. Click on add modifier. Choose subdivision surface. Click on view. Key in 3. Enter. Click on render. Key in 3. Enter. Select the empty. At right side of the screen. Click on the object icon. At the rotation section. Click on Z field. Key in 360 divide 20. Enter. Blender will do the calculation for us. Make sure the value is 18. Select the object. Right click. Shade smooth. This is what we have so far. If you want the indent to be deeper, select the cap object. Tab into edit mode. At subdivision surface modifier. Click on the adjust edit cage to modifier results icon. Select this face. Go to mesh. 
Transform. Choose Shrink Fatten. Hold Shift and drag to desired depth. Left click. Click on the Adjust Edit Cage to modify a results icon to deactivate it. Tab into Object Mode. This is how easy it is to edit the object. Now we will fill the top of the cap. First, click Apply to apply the array modifier. Click on the empty. Press X. Delete. Select the cap object. Tab into Edit Mode. Click on Vertex Select icon. Hold Alt. Click on this edge to select the loop. Press Ctrl F. Choose Grid Fill. We will now add thickness. Place the mouse cursor here. Press Ctrl R for loop cut. Left click. Drag until here. Left click. Tab into object mode. Add modifier. Solidify. Click on offset. Key in 1. Enter. This add the thickness to the inside. Click on thickness. Key in point 0.02. Enter. I rotate the view to show you the thickness. The bottle cap is done. I go to shading. Mat cap. Click on window. Choose a shiny mat cap. Let's rotate the view to check our work. That conclude our lesson today. If you have questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. I like to thank all the people who watch the videos and subscribe to this channel. I truly appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Wishing you a great day, and happy blending.